Hello, I'm Charlie O'Brien, Secretary General of AgriRevolution. First of all, I'd like to thank you for the opportunity to be with you today and talk a little bit about AgriRevolution. I'd like to talk a little bit about the history of AgriRevolution, about the membership to the AgriRevolution Alliance, as well as a little bit about the products and services that we offer to members and also to the general public. And I'd also like to talk about some special projects that the Alliance is involved with. I think the best way to share the details of the Alliance is to go through and show you some slides on those specific details. So the Agri-Evolution Alliance started in 2008 when Federer Unicoma, the Association for the Italian Equipment Manufacturers, held the first Agri-Evolution Summit. Attending the summits were leaders from around the world that included government representations, academia, company industry leaders, and association leaders. They came together to discuss issues facing the agricultural equipment manufacturing sector and agriculture as a whole. Since that summit, the Alliance has continued to grow. In 2012, the Alliance actually formalized the Alliance in a meeting that was held in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And the Alliance has continued to grow and grow since that time, to a point where we now have 14 organizations from around the world that represent 6,000 agricultural equipment manufacturers. The Alliance is the global voice for agriculture of equipment manufacturers. Our job is to advocate for global mechanization of agriculture. And this role enables each Alliance national association to better serve its members through shared information and worldwide collaboration on issues that really affect us all. Let me talk for a couple of minutes about the services that AgriEvolution offers. And I'm going to, I'm going to, kind of put those in four key categories. One, global market data. Second one, global advocacy. Third one, agri-revolution summits. And the fourth one, global data exchange. Starting with the global market information. Talk about agri-revolution has a statistics program. Several years ago, a group came to us that had been running a data exchange for the last 30 years. And they asked us if we would be willing to take on the secretary role because of our global reach that we have and the coverage that we have, and that we have the uh, we would have the ability to bring some formality to the overall exchange. And so we agreed to do that. Today, the program reports shipments from around the world for tractors, combines, forage harvesters, balers, combine headers, and continues to have the opportunity to grow new programs. The alliance associations may offer their programs to their member companies especially if they have if they're actually selling some of the some of the um, equipment that's in one of the exchanges we alliance members receive quarterly index data and I, i'll show you an example of some of the index data this is what one of the indexes it happens to be from the tractors and on the top graph you'll see a quarterly index and you'll see a, a rolling moving 12 month moving average so you can kind of see the trend lines overall for tractor sales, tractor shipments. On the bottom graph, I think it's kind of interesting in terms of the year over year growth by quarter. And you can really, on this particular graph, see what's taken place in terms of the pandemic and what it's done overall to the marketplace from tractor shipments from around the world. You can see it's, it's really had a dramatic impact on, on shipments. Switching gears, we also have and do uh, advocacy for the Alliance and the uh, members that we represent. Our key role is educating legislators and leaders around the world on the importance of mechanization and their support in their decision making. Now, our role may differ and our focus may differ in different may differ from different parts of the world. One area of the world, uh, we may be talking about power and, and using mechanization to uh, be more productive. Another part of the world, we may be talking about sustainability and utilization of equipment for sustainability impacts. 
And another part, we may be talking about digital transformation. So it really depends on what part of the world we're working in and what Alliance members are engaged at that particular time. But in the end, in the end, our role is to educate political leaders about the vital role that the industry plays and our sector plays in the economic benefit for a healthy agriculture. As part of this role, we also engage with and work with other global partners, such as FAO or the World Bank, and work with them on their projects that they may have and helping to expand and to uh, complete their projects as well. I mentioned before that our first summit was held in 2008 in Rome, Italy. Uh, we have since had several other summits, as you can see the list here on the screen in terms of the other summits, one in Orlando, uh, USA, one in Paris, France, one in New Delhi, India, one in Istanbul, Turkey, Wuhan, China, and the last one uh, being held in Spain. Each one of these summits has been unique and has brought about some of the local flavor overall in terms of what's happening with agriculture in that particular region. The most recent example of the summit that was held in Spain, we actually had a day of discussions uh, and then we went out into the field and we looked at specialty crops and the equipment used for specialty crops. Part of that was, again, a regional flavor in the importance of specialty crops of taking on overall a diet and the extreme growth rate that we've seen in those particular, particular products. We will be holding another summit in October of 2022 and it'll be held in Moscow. So we certainly invite you all to attend that particular summit. Another area that we work with is in market data. And here you'll see a couple of examples, one being our tractor report. We, have, we sit in a unique position with, with our global reach and our 14 members of the, associate, of the Alliance that we have the opportunity to really harmonize some of the information that we have. Here with the tractor report, you can see tractor sales from around the world, and you can line it up in different countries and different regions in terms of those particular sales. We also do a business barometer. Uh, the business barometer is uh, a survey that is taken by uh, member companies, Alliance member companies. So it's from company leadership that are filling out this particular survey. The barometer provides an indication in the perception of what's happening overall with the business. So to talk about the current climate, um, if it's positive or negative, and, and talk about future expectations, what's going on. And this particular graph talks, kind of summarizes all uh, responses from around the world and you can kind of see what the thought process is from around the world. This is another look at a different uh, question that was on the same survey. Again, the same question is being asked of companies, company leadership, regardless of where they sit in the world, whether it's in the United States, whether it's in France, whether it's in Brazil or China or Japan, wherever they may be sitting, but it's the exact same questions that are being asked. This particular graph talks about turnover expectations over the next six months. And it'll show you how positive or potentially negative a particular country is feeling over the next six months. It's not, I must warn, it's not an indicator of the percent growth that there may be, but it's just an indicator of how positive a company would feel, or companies feel in that particular region in terms of growth rate over the next six months. Market environment, this is uh, again done by Alliance member companies uh, on the same survey, but it's talking about their customers and those customers that are going to be buying equipment. And it gives you again an indication of whether they're feeling positive, uh, neutral or negative relative to the competitiveness and how they are feeling, which is an indicator of whether or not they'll be buying equipment or not. Another um, kind of project that we've worked on is providing a survey to Alliance members in what's happening with, you know, what's impacting everybody around the world, which is the COVID-19 pandemic. And so we've asked questions of the Alliance members to try to gauge what's taking place. And I'll give you some responses that we that we had from around the world. And these were taken early days of the pandemic, but from Brazil, lack of credit, uh, France, financial support to farmers was a concern. Italy, lack of visibility in the autumn, autumn reduction in cash flow. Japan, farmers' willingness to consume is declining. Uh, Russia had restrictions in international events. 
and so on and so forth. So we get a picture, if you will, of the impact. And the impact certainly was not the same in different parts of the world. And so you can get, a again, a side-by-side -side look of what the impact on this particular example of COVID-19, the pandemic, has had in different regions of the world. So that information has been made available to Alliance members. And another question on the survey was asking about government support. And again, this is a little early days in the in the uh, pandemic, but it was asking, is the government uh, providing any financial support during the difficult times? And you can see the trend lines here with the uh, blue bars, they were actually going up. So there's more and more government support as we were going along. So this is just a snapshot of some of the things that AgriEvolution is working on. We do uh, work a lot with data and provide a fair amount of data to the Alliance members, as well as some of this information is also available to you on the website. So I'd encourage you to visit the website, www.agrievolution.com. Also, if you want more detail, feel free to contact us the, the, uh, at the um, AgriEvolution Alliance Secretariat. Anita Sennett uh, is currently fulfilling that role at AEM in the United States, so she can be reached. Her contact information is here, so feel free to contact her. Her contact information is also can be found on the AgriRevolution website. So hopefully this information has provided you with a little bit of insight into what AgriRevolution is and the membership of AgriRevolution and the market and the sector that we represent. So again, feel free to ask us uh, any more details that you'd like to ha like to have. Feel free to contact uh, Nia Senate at the Secretariat role, and uh, we're certainly glad to provide you any additional information uh, that we may have. Again, I'd like to thank you very much for the opportunity to be with you today. Thank you.